a lot of times people invest in the stock market for the first time. And if they put in uh, 10 grand and then they put it in during a time when markets are going down and it goes from 10 to uh, $9,000, you know, um, which is very common drop, a 10% drop, they would, they would um, identify that with risk. My, my 10 went to nine and that was risky. Um, yep. So let's just chat, chat about that for a minute. There's a difference between that and then something that like literally went to zero and evaporated overnight. And so yep. how would you like, what are, what are the, when someone says risk to you, like, is that risky, Matt? Is our stocks risky? Like, how do you help someone define what risk means? Or like, how do you help them just understand like there's degrees of risk or what you're calling risk might not even be called risk actually. Yeah. I think this is one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to investing and thinking about money and all this kind of stuff. To your point, people bring up risk all the time. And I know they're saying risk, but what they're really saying is something else. So yeah, this is an example I use all of the time. Uh, where when we talk about risk, like with insurance, right? Mm-hmm. We use the same word when we talk about risk with yeah. insurance, like with insurance, life risk. insurance. Yeah. yeah, the risk of me dying or yeah. disability. Yeah, we're using the word risk when it comes mm-hmm. to insurance, right? Like insurability. Like, yeah, you're insuring my life, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm also using the word risk when I'm talking about investing in a globally diversified portfolio with stocks. Yes, right. Those are not the same thing. Not no. even close, right? No. When I'm insuring my life, right, or you're insuring your life, it is a black and white risk, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And an insurance company can measure that. Oh yeah. Right? They they use what's called the law of large numbers. Like they've yep. got a, they've got actuaries behind closed doors, these uh you know people that are looking at spreadsheets and run, like they can actually it is a mathematically mm-hmm. definable you know, definable and and calculatable yeah. Yeah. if that's a word. Um, it is now. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it is something you can define and calculate and mm-hmm. measure over yeah. with enough people and enough time, right? Yep. And so the risk almost there is predictable. You could almost without saying it's predictable, predictable, you could almost say it's predictable. It is. No, it yeah. is. Uh-huh. Like it, they yeah. can run calculations on this and say Totally. It, here's it, what's going to happen uh, uh, and here's with a why big your, enough group of people. Oh, yeah. and here's why your premium is what it is. Because mm-hmm. we know on the back end, we know how risky this actually is. So you could say the make the same argument for any casino, which we've been talking about lately. Exactly. They yep. with enough uh, lar- law of large numbers with enough sample size, they can say we know what our risks are. So exactly. this is what we can pay out. These are the odds. Yeah, it, yep. it's cal- it's calculatable. Yep, it's calculatable. Yeah. And this so and then if you can if you compare that to the when people say risk with investing, let's say mm-hmm. vastly different, right? Most mm-hmm. of the time, what they're actually saying. What they're what they're referring to is like uncertainty. It's volatility. Yeah. Volatility. It's the discomfort of volatility. 